classic hits, DC TV. We've got two gents popped in this morning, uh, one hailing from Grantham in England, known as a devastating 2020 batsman. Good morning, Luke Wright. Good morning. And we've got a laid-back yet ambitious spin bowler who's welly born and bred. Good morning, Jita Patel. Good morning, all. So this is this is the devastator and, yes. and the laid-back one. If you yeah. guys were Transformers, um, <laughs> Luke, to be fair, you got the caller name. I did, yeah. It's not something I even get in England, so it's nice to come all this way to get a better name, actually. I mean, devastating is an earthquake. That, uh, t to be fair, that came from my husband. I think he's secretly a bit of a fan. He said, devastating 2020. I'm like, okay, baby. Well, wickers. <laughs> no, he's, he's done me well there. I don't think it's something, yeah, like I've said, not been described as that before, but I'm happy with that. Hopefully right. I can do that in my time here. Sweet. Now, um, okay, for those who are not cricket fans or who the HRV Cup is a new thing, for the uninitiated to it, can you tell us a little bit about what to expect this weekend at the uh, start of the HIV Cup? Oh, mate, I, I, I think it's just going to be three hours of fun. Oh, that's, that's the way I've briefed it to the guys as captain. I just want them to have, to have as much fun as they can, put some smiles on their faces, hopefully get some results and, and get bums on seats to the basin again because we haven't had that for a long time. Sweet. Uh, it's a three-hour party. And a little bit of cricket. Yeah, and a little bit of cricket in between. A little bit of cricket in between. I love this. This is great. Now, Jeeves, I've got to understand you. Now, your name... Is your name really, your nickname, is it Dave? Yeah, my nickname is Dave, yeah. Brilliant, <laughs> everybody needs a Dave. <laughs> how, tell us how that came about. Oh, it's a long story, I don't really want to get into it. I like the fact that people have to think about how they can work out why my name is Dave. So we've got to start from Dave and work backwards to Jeeps? Yes. Okay, alright, I guess. Well, good, so, good luck with that. Yeah, I reckon. I've, I've, I've got a story in my head, but, but we won't go into that. Now, Luke, do you have a nickname that we need to know? Because you've got to think about this when people are writing their signs for this weekend. We've got to have a nickname for you. Um, I've been called Dimbers in the past. It's from question time in England. So I used to, when I was little, I used to ask thousands and thousands of questions like a proper little geek. Um, so yeah, I used to be called Dimbers, but I've managed to sort of get rid of that for now. But uh, right so, up until now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's bad. And then uh, so yeah, so meeting all the new guys, I'm sure uh, I'm sure they'll come up with something before uh, before the end of the time. Okay, if you've got any suggestions, send them through on the text four four eight seven. I'm going to kick it kick it off with Lucky. Because that's, oh, not, no. that's not much patronising, okay? So while we're talking signs, when you guys are out playing, um, maybe you're at the Basin or maybe you're at one of the bigger bigger stadiums or the arenas, do you see the signs? Because to be fair, cricket signs, they're a bit more clever than a dumb rugby sign. Yeah, no, they're, they're quite good. And the good ones are the ones that we generally take notice of. You know, it's someone will say, oh, did you see that sign? You make sure you go have a look. But the ones that aren't, you try to steer away from really. Okay, so we want to be witty and we want nicknames incorporated into them. Yeah, just something funny. Something funny to put it, like I said, make it fun and, and hopefully the game will be fun for everyone. You, 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 you're you emphasising fun. Um, do, do people in the crowd, I mean, we hear the stories, do you see it when 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 uh, when crowd supports or when, when when the partying in the crowd actually gets too much? Do you see that? Does it affect you guys? Oh, it only affects us when someone runs on the pitch because that's, I mean, that's just the way it is with some, some guys have a couple too many and decide they're going to run nude across the pitch. I, mean, I still find it funny but I think against the laws of the game, it's not quite the way we want to play it. Well, well we're talking pitch. Um, back in the old day, one of the best cricket traditions was at the end of the game all the kids could run screaming onto the pitch and, and get the autographs of the heroes. I'm on a mission to bring that back and bring back the olden days. Once the game's over, though, obviously, how do you guys feel about it? Yeah, I think that what, what the HRV have done this year, and I, they did it a little bit last year, is the kids are allowed on the park right at the end of the game where they can come off autographs. And as long as they're in an orderly fashion and there's not a thousand kids everywhere, which can get quite messy, but they are allowed on the park to get some autographs. And, and our guys are really good at it, so I'm hoping we get uh, that support. Because you don't want your local ultra official chucking a spares. No. Well, that's the thing, you know. I mean, I don't want to have to go to court for some little kid getting spanked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Luke, you, you, you haven't been here long. I want to know, have you been billeted off? Are you staying in Jeep's bedroom? Or whereabouts do you stay while you're over here? No, I'm staying right in town. Um, yeah, they've looked after me. It's been good, actually. And uh, everyone before I came here told me about this weather that you get down in, uh, in Wellington. But I've had sunshine every day which has been unbelievable yeah it's not going to last for a while just so that you know right? we're going to get through this weekend and it's all going to turn to pants but it's going to be good every weekend of the um, HRV Cup I have faith in it um, with you with the good news at the moment with you being here and the time zone difference it works out quite well for you to watch a bit of the ashes 
It certainly does, yeah. I've been uh, obviously, uh, I felt a little bit better after day four and five watching the Ashes. Come watching it, sort of day three, I got a little bit nervous, but uh, oh, it was great to see the boys do well, and it's nice to see how big it is over here as well. Obviously, uh, first time I've ever seen it being this side of the world, so uh, it was great to see. Some people get a little bit obsessed about their cricket. Final question for you guys, um, Jeeps. I'm going to direct this to you. It's it, honestly just between you and me. It's, it's been a while since you know we've had a a, a a big win, a cricketing competition in Wellington. So. I want you to rate our chances for this season. Oh, I reckon we've got a really good chance. I mean, at the moment we're obviously missing three or four guys to the to the New Zealand team, but as soon as they come back, that bolsters our bolsters our attack, and and it means we we go into the back end of the competition, which is the money end, with uh, with a full team and, and the excitement of Brett Lee coming along as well. So, I'm I'm pretty excited. We can get through these first four games and pick up a few wins and and just have that excitement about us and that buzz and get that support from the, our local crowd. I think. We're going to go a long way and, and pretty close to win it. So the, the crowd will make the difference. We'll see you at the Basin Reserve 2 o'clock on Saturday and again on Sunday. Good luck this weekend. DC TV from Dave and Camille on Classic Hits.